no matter what you're doing or trying to do. You can't pray God into doing what you want him to do. That's a lie. Show it to me in the Bible. But if you pray according to his will, he will hear you and he will answer you. You can't pray God into doing what you want him to do. I've tried it. <laughs> you did? Yeah, I did. I, I did. I tried it. God, I want this person to do this. God, don't even listen to that. You're wasting your time. What you need to do is say, God, what do you want me to do? How can I be effective for you, Lord? Did you tell me to do this, or am I just doing this on my own? If you're doing it on your own, it won't work. You know what? When I started, I didn't have sense enough to get out of town. No, I didn't. I was walking down a cotton field praying, God, if you get me out of this cotton field, I'd do anything that you ask me to do. That's a dangerous prayer. Don't pray that prayer unless you mean it. God will take you up on it. Because... From there, after that prayer, guess where you go? To the threshing floor where all the chaff is separated from the wheat. Ten hands full of chaff gets nothing. One kernel of wheat will bring a lot of wheat. See, doing what God wants you to do is the key to your success and others around you and happiness and joy too. You cannot be happy out of the will of God. See, serving God's not like going to Burger King. You can't have it your way. If you could, you would be happy out of the will of God, but you cannot be happy out of the will of God. It's impossible. You'll be miserable. Take my word for it. I've done been there. I said, God, how did I get in this place? He said, you brought yourself over here. Well, Lord, deliver me. You got in, you get out. And, oh, he got me out. I did. I said, God, how did I ever get here? He said, you came over here. Not to this church. You came over here where I went. And he said, you're doing what you want to do on your own permission. I'm not touching it. I told my mother, who was very old and very wise, she said, what's wrong with you, boy? I said, I'm your pastor. She said, you're my boy. And you're stupid. Your mother said that to you? Yeah, some of your mothers should have told you what you was doing was stupid. <laughs> See, but you didn't listen. If you don't listen, you have to feel. My mama told me to get out of the street, and I didn't do it. She came with a switch. She said, boy, I told you to get out of that street. I didn't listen, so I had to feel something. If you don't listen to God, you're going to feel something. You ain't going to like it. So I lost my car and I lost everything. And what happened? You're doing your own thing. That's when you lose everything. When you do his thing, he will bless you. He, there's nothing he can't do. I went to China with no man. I knew no man there, no money. And I was so stupid. Somebody gave me the money to go to China, but I forgot to ask them for money to get back. About halfway over, I thought, oh, my God. How am I going to get back? I never thought about coming back. I was so excited about going. When I got off the plane, there was a little bitty guy there, and he had a little sign that said, Dr. Bennett. I said, are you Dr. Bennett? He said, no. I said, I am. He said, oh, come with me, please. How did you know I was coming here? Somebody told me. I said, okay. I thought, I don't know if I want to get in there with him or not. It was a big limousine. I thought it might be some kind of criminal or something. No, it was a real deal. Somebody called them that knew them and knew me and knew that I was stupid. And said, said, when Dr. Bennett gets there, please help me. They did. Because I was where he wanted me to be doing what he wanted me to do. Does it make a difference? All the difference in the world.